Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to Reading here in the UK. I'm at OK Trucks. This is the Iveco retail site in Reading. And I'll be taking you on a full tour and test drive of their Iveco Stralis. Now these are pre-owned examples and this is from 2017. It's got 460 horsepower. So I'm looking forward to showing you all around the exterior first, then we'll hop inside and show you all the interior features. And then we'll be taking it out on the road for a test drive. Let's go. Okay, so what we're going to be focusing on is pre-owned trucks in today's video. So this isn't something I often do, but um, this is what OK Trucks do here in Reading. They are an Iveco retail site. So what we have in front of us here is a 2016 example, Iveco Stralis, 460 horsepower, 2,150 Newton meters of torque, and very low mileage on this, only 137,000 kilometers. So just under 85,000 miles. So not much mileage for the year. So it's on a 66 plate. So it was just registered in September 2016. And you'll notice the way this bottom section is painted red, whereas this one here is not painted uh, on the white example there. But this is factory red, came from the factory painted this way. And we'll also be talking about leasing deals with OK Trucks. We'll be talking about that later in the video. But I just want to show you around this example, uh, just what you can get for your money, and hopefully we'll be able to talk about exactly how much this truck is for sale. Um, we might be able to, to discuss all pricing later on, we'll see. We have our dipstick there, and your oil top up, and you can check all your fluids there, very easy. Now hopefully on the Iveco S-Way coming, this will be a lockable grill, but uh, as of yet, it's not lockable, so maybe that's something that can be improved on in the S-Way. But uh, we have a trade plate there that we'll be driving on because it's not taxed as yet. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to chatting all about the lease deals uh, later on in the video. But uh, we don't have any super singles on this. They are just your standard tires. This type of truck would appeal to fleet buyers, big fleets. Um, these trucks are more or less what they would be getting. And we have our exhaust after treatment there, the high SCR. So uh, some features within that system are patented by Iveco. Um, it just makes it more efficient and uh, more maintenance free on the high SCR system. And you can jump another truck there. Very handy to have that. And we have a sliding fifth wheel there, the Jost, and our full air deflector kit at the back and it's nicely covered in there, the engine and the catwalk area here. So this part should be covered in as well. So maybe that's something that, that can be added on. And just walking around, we do have our air outlets here. And I'll also show you one in the cab as well. So they're always great to have if you have a, a tire that's losing air. And we just have the normal bulbs there in those rear taillights, your filament bulbs. And yeah, I'm just gonna hop inside. Uh, we have a 430 liter diesel tank and a 50 liter add blue tank. And of course your mid lift there. Okay, let's uh, open up the driver's side door and hop inside. We have three steps leading up into the cab. Now we have an automated gearbox in this Stralis. We have soft touch there on the door and this nice silver trim your level control there for the back axle and we have a full air suspended adjustable driver's seat there and it's heated and also the passenger side is exactly the same so something you don't often see um, when these trucks are specced but this one has quite a nice spec in it so you'll hear the electronic lock opening there um, yeah so these lockers are of a decent size and there's one of equal size on the passenger side so just close that up and we'll open up the bottom one there as well. So good size storage in that. Not too bad. Okay, let's hop inside and go down through all the features. So yeah, I've shot a couple of uh, Iveco Stralises before. So this is pretty much the same on the interior. And we have the Iveco there on the headrest. So yeah, pre-owned example. I don't often show you these, but it's quite nice to see them. So let's just slide that open. We do have the fridge here. We can move that back. So yeah, it's an okay size. 
Now, on some Iveco Stralises, you can get this as a fridge, but in this example, it is a locker. So we can open that and you have locker space there and we can leave it that way and you can have your cup holders. So uh, yeah, it's quite well done, the storage in the Stralises. And we have two lockable upper lockers here and we have the big one in the middle. You can put a microwave in there if you wish. And even over here, let me just uh, on the side wall, you can pull down that platform there. So you can nearly set a television up there if you wish. Uh, very handy, or even your iPad, sit it up there if you wanna watch television. And we have 12 volt socket there. And we also have the upper bunk. So we can move that down pretty easy. And let me just sit on the bunks actually. So, yeah, it's, I've got loads of space here. And well, they're a bit firm, the beds, but all the beds on these trucks, uh, sometimes you gotta pay extra to have a nice comfortable bed. Now you'll see here as well, we, uh, we can play our CDs there and that's for your satellite navigation. And we also have a USB slot here where you could put in your memory card or your memory stick and you can play your music on that. And over here as well, we have another USB outlet and your auxiliary. So as I said before, these should be positioned down on the dashboard, but there you have it, positioned up there. And we have a decent size sunroof as well, which is pretty good. And uh, can we block that out? Oh, we can. Yeah, full blackout shade there as well. And oh yeah, I'll just show you this again. It was on the XP. I shot before. You can restrict this truck to 85 kilometers by turning that key. We also have another electrical socket there as well. Okay, and in behind here, all our fuses are at the back of this. More storage in there. And on the top of the dashboard, we do have nice soft touch material up here, all down around there. So quite nicely done. And everything angled in towards the driver. And we have a cup holder here, store all your cards and more storage in there. All your heating controls and let me just pull across that drawer and more storage down the side. And yeah, we're just going to sit into the driver's seat and I'll start it up. Give you a sound of the six cylinder diesel engine. Okay, there we go. It'll just chime there just to show you everything is working and let's get it started there we go okay i'm just going to close the door and we have a block out shade here and we also have the shade here for the windscreen i do like that and we're just going to turn on the screen there. So we do have satellite navigation on this screen and all your music and of course set up your phone and your different applications. And now over here we have more interior lights. We have a battery isolator switch and another light switch there. We have our night heater and we can open up and close our sunroof electrically. That is for the blind, for the windscreen and our lift axle controls. That's for leveling off the back axle. And over here is our drive selector button. So it's simply drive, neutral and reverse. And here we have our hill hold function. And if you're, we have our adaptive cruise control. So you can set your speed. If you're, say for instance, you're going downhill and you want your exhaust brake to kick in at a certain speed, you can set that speed here. So that's great to have. And we have our lane departure warning, our PTO switch, more light switches there, all dotted around here, and our cab light here for the catwalk. And over here we have our speed limiter switch and our traction control. And of course we can go up and down through our gearbox manually if we wish. And we have our two-stage exhaust brake. So it's always good to have that. It's a small enough screen compared to say some of the newer trucks so maybe something like this is bigger on the new s-way but yeah in terms of price um this is very good value so we'll be talking all about pricing later on in the video but 
Uh, I think it's time to, uh, let me just open up the door again. Just give it a couple of more revs. Yeah, I'm just gonna hop outside. Now the handy thing as well is, when you turn off the ignition, watch, the seat drops down automatically. So usually some trucks have a button here where you have to physically press it to drop it down, but every time you knock off the key, the seat drops down. So yeah, I think it's uh, time to get behind the wheel, take it out on the road, and see what it's like. Okay, we're just pulling out the gate here of OK Trucks in Reading. And I'm now joined by Rob. Hello. Rob is joining me on the drive here just to talk about all their leasing deals and the price of this truck. Now, Rob, this is something I can't often do in a video because any new trucks, dealers don't really want the price mentioned, but we can mention the price of this truck, Rob. We can. It is yes. 39995 Yeah. Drive it away. Or so, you can get it on our leasing package. Yeah. 269 a week, three years, all maintenance, all included, 130,000 kilometers a year, done. And how many services are included in that? That's all the servicing as per the manufacturer's schedule. So any right. service it's due, bring it in, any Iveco dealer, they'll cover it. It's all covered for you. Yeah. So just under £40,000 for this 2016 example. Mm -hmm. So it's on a 66 plate. Yep. 85,000 miles. Yep. It's, it's barely run in. Yeah, so 137,000 kilometres. So uh, yeah, the driver that was driving this was part of the Handy Haulage Club, <laughs> as we like to call it. So they didn't do a lot of mileage, Rob. No. Huh? More benefit for the next person who yeah. picks this up. I should get a job in that transport company. <laughs> you should. <laughs> It'd know. be an easy life by the sounds yeah, of it. Yeah, by the sounds of it, yeah. Yeah, we're okay to go. Yeah, so we we do have a lot of weight on, so it's pulling out there nice and easy. Into fourth gear, into sixth. Now we're just up a small bit of a hill here. So, it's after going up in the seventh. I think it's gonna drop down. No, I'm gonna drop it down because it's just laboring slightly there. I'll continue in sixth. And, yeah, it's a very clean example, this Rob. Mm, it's really nice, this yeah. truck. Really nice, it's been well looked after. Bit of a narrow the, bridge there. Uh, yeah. Very. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna go straight through this roundabout. Mm -hmm. As we were saying there, you do all different type of years of Iveco trucks? Yep. At so, OK Trucks? Yep, so we've got a huge variety. We've got like these ones, the more recent ones. Yeah. We've also got some of the older ones, you know, some of the Euro 4s, Euro 5s. Mm. We've got dailies, Euro cargos, trucks. We've got a huge stop list through Iveco. Um, so yeah, wh whatever you want, we've got one, you know, we can find one for you. So what would be the oldest trucks you would be selling? Is it 2016? Um, the oldest ones you can get on the on the leasing agreement, yes, they're 2016. Yeah. Um, there are, the, the Euro 6 goes back to 2014 and we do offer our own package sort of separate to Iveco. Uh, but as a rule for, for trucks in general, we can go back as far as 60 plates for the export markets um, where, you know, the emissions regulations aren't so important as they are in the UK. Yeah, because you only sell the Euro 6, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. yeah, on the OK Trucks offer, it's a Euro 6, yeah. So it's fully compliant, drive it anywhere. All the London, Central London, all that. Yeah, so the Euro 5, Euro 4, you would be shipping out of this country? Yes, yeah. or to an operator who perhaps doesn't go into London. Oh, yes, OK. Or, you know, doesn't have that issue with emission zones and so on. Yeah. So just pulling away there, I mean, the truck did feel the weight. Uh, we are quite heavy here now grossing 44 tons so just pulling out of the estate there you could feel the the weight on it definitely but Rob they can always get a 570 Stralis off yep. you as well yep. yeah there are a couple of those on the yeah. OK truck scheme I believe they've got a couple of those 
And you so. do um, gas Iveco trucks as well? Yes, so yeah. at Reading you can get the, LN the new LNG Stralis, yeah. uh, which runs on the LNG, which you've probably seen, seen around. Oh, what's the range on those trucks, Rob? Well, officially, Iveco said it would do 1,500, but they did run one down to Spain, and I believe it did something like 1,654 kilometers on one fill. On um, one fill? So they okay. did even further than Iveco thought it would do yeah. with, with a trailer, with a loaded trailer from London to Madrid. Right, okay. Yeah, so it takes a while to build up the momentum, but quite good once you uh, get up to speed. But it's always great to have a loaded trailer, Rob. Mm. This is this is proper mm. testing. Yeah. Um, yeah it's, any truck will pull an empty trailer, won't it? Yeah. Uh, no issue. So. Yeah. So thanks for organising. No, that's fine. That's, <laughs> that's what we want. We yeah. want to show people what what they can get. Yeah. And this exactly. Is, you know, this is such a nice example. So. But Rob, um, your colleague was mentioning as well that you have a newer truck than this on a 2017 plate mm -hmm. and it has even less mileage, only, what, 85,000 kilometers? I believe there is one. Yeah. yeah. We've had, we get, because what we do is we take back the, so when a truck is on a maybe a contract lease that a, a, a new customer has purchased, they go back to Iveco and then we have, have the option to, you know, we market them, we sell them on, we prepare them. So yeah, you do get some very low mileage examples, like like you say, like the 2017 plate with only 85,000 kilometers. And you can get that on the same package. Um, I believe it's from 279 a week for 130,000 kilometers. Again, all included, maintenance, servicing, everything like that. Um, yeah, from, from 279. But. Yeah, and he mentioned the new price, if somebody was to go in and buy it, yep. just, just like that is out that, your gate is yeah. 45,000. Yeah. Pounds. Yep. yep. So that's practically around half price of yep. a new one. Yeah, and it's not even due on mileage, it's first service. <laughs> I mean, what a great yeah. offer that is. Oh, it's less than half the price of a new one. Yeah. And it's barely not even had a first service yet. But I don't know how it is here in the UK, Rob, but how are you for the amount of Iveco dealers in the UK? Because in Ireland, it's not very good. They need more dealers. They do, yeah. There's not many out there, which I'm surprised about because we do we do ship quite a few to Ireland through OK yeah. Trucks. But um, in the UK, there's eight OK Trucks locations. All right. Okay. Um, so customers can bring their new vehicles back and then those locations will prepare them, get them ready yeah. and, and ship them out. So. And you take any truck, any make of truck on part exchange, yes. don't you? Yep, we'll look yeah. at anything, okay. anything at all. Particularly, we, we want people to give us their Euro 4s, Euro 5s, that maybe, uh, you know, they're struggling with the emissions now. Give yeah. them to us, we'll trade them in and we can, we can dispose of them for you and we'll put you in one of these. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it's very good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's because, a great scheme. Rob, how, like, what's the percentage of freight companies in the UK that actually have all their trucks on lease as opposed to actually owning. It's quite high. Yeah. I think it's got to be in the, in the 70s, 80s. Yeah. Because they just want the ease. They know they've got their contracts and so on. They just want to take the trucks, use them for what they're, you know, what they've got, their work, and then give them back. They don't want to deal with disposing of them or anything like that. Yeah. So, which it means we get them back they've been maintained by Aveco all their lives we know them they're great trucks we're and, happy to sell them all and oh here in the UK as well the majority of trucks on sale are 6x2s isn't it yes yeah, yeah. The 6x2 is very popular in this country what would be the percentage say 6x2 4x2 it's got to be in the 80s yeah I'd say a lot of the, the big fleet companies run 6x2 there are a few 4x2s but quite a lot of them run 6x2s because they just want to maximize their payload yeah it? and the yeah. mid-lift axle helps with maneuverability because it's a steer axle so yeah but uh, one thing I really like about the Stralis and I've mentioned it before is the steering mm -hmm. um, I just watch even going around the roundabout here just how light it is it's just, you could do it with one finger. Mm. It's a very good chassis underneath. Yeah. You know, it's very easy with power steering. It's almost too easy. You can design yeah. any chassis and just give it the power and it, it helps. Mm. But this is actually a good chassis underneath. 
Yeah, because we do have a bit of weight on the pin, so mm. if you were driving most other trucks, you would feel that weight in the steering, but it's, it's just so nice to use, mm. the steering. And yeah, okay, we don't have the front axle on air, but it's still not too bad on mm. comfort. And of course, the 6x2s are always going to be more comfortable than a 4x2 anyway. And the stability is always better on them as well. But on the other end of it, you do have smaller diesel tanks. I mean, 430 litres. I would be filling this truck up every two days if I was running it around. So, um, I mean, they can buy 4x2s off you. Yeah. yeah. And they've got the... Yeah, and then again, it's... Obviously, we're, we're dictated to by what people have bought new. But we've yeah. got some 4x2s with the, you know, with the full 1300, 1400 long range tanks on them, Continental tanks. So. Yeah. I could see here the uh, lane departure warning coming on there. Mm -hmm. Yep. So uh, Just a little notch. Yeah. But you do have nice features in this. I mean, this isn't a very basic truck. No. You know, you've got your adaptive cruise control, yep. your lane departure warning, yep. your PTO switch, mm -hmm. um, your automatic exhaust brake as well. You see, look, yep. it's coming on there, look, and yep. my foot is off the accelerator. Mm -hmm. Saving on the brakes. Yeah. yeah. I'll just slow down, let this guy in. There we are. And it's got one of the biggest cabs of all the makes and manufacturers out there. This is one of the biggest cabs in terms of overall sort of volume, if that's the right word. Before the XXL Volvo comes. Oh, well. <laughs> well yeah, yeah, but hey. you're getting into and, mega mugs there. And the S-Way. Yeah, yeah, of course. It, yeah. yeah. So, Rob, uh, say for instance somebody's watching this now and they say, hmm, maybe I'll go to OK Trucks in two really? years' time. Yep. Where you might be getting in the S Way. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, so. Can't wait for it to come. Yeah, down. so. I mean, obviously, we sell it new as well. Hmm. So we'll have it as a new fee. But um, yeah, when they start yeah. coming through the OK Trucks, that'd be a great buy. So, Rob, we're going to make our way back to OK Trucks. And will we have a look around some Iveco daily vans? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Okay, we're back from the drive in the Iveco Stralis 2016 plate on this, as I said. Quite a nice drive in these Stralises, not too bad. I mean, 460 horsepower, 2150 newton meters of torque. Yeah, not too bad. And it's always great to pull them with a load on. So, um, yeah, okay. I mean, if you want more power, go for the XP 570 if you want more power. But this would appeal to big fleet buyers. They love these trucks because they have good compromise between power and economy. But, oh yeah, we just have Steve here. He's pulling out. Now this is a very unusual van, the Iveco Daily. This is a 7.2 ton gross Iveco Daily. So you don't often see these in Ireland or even the UK, these vans are fairly rare. So uh, yeah, let's have a quick look around this Iveco Daily. Okay, I just thought I'd show you quickly around this Iveco Daily. So we've just under 180 horsepower and 430 Newton meters of torque. And we have a 6.5, that is the total length of this van, 6.5 meters. And we have a 4.6 meter interior in the rear there. That is the total length, 4.6 meters. And in between the arches there is 1.2 meters. So uh, yeah, we do have storage up above there. That's handy. And we have all the LED lights inside. And you can get this all ply lined as well. No problem there. We can reposition that spare wheel underneath. That's okay. Uh, very handy to have the two side doors as well. And we have barn style rear doors. Let's just walk around here and give you a look at the rear. And we do have a rear reversing camera positioned up there. And also that step, very important to be able to climb up nice and easy. But it does sit a bit high up off the ground there. It's on the leaf springs. Let me just show you them on the twin wheel Iveco daily. So yeah, 7.2 ton gross. That's quite good for a van. Um, and it also has the tachograph 
inside. Uh, let's just hop inside. Now we do have 430 newton meters of torque and the dailies here, they do have good storage. Your cup holder up here. So I'm just gonna give it a couple of revs of course. There we are. And look at this, this is handy as well on top of the dashboard here. If you just push this, look, you can put your clipboard there. So uh, yeah, I've not seen that feature before. That's quite good. And down here is your tachograph. So of course, an awful lot of van drivers don't like to see these, but that's the law when you reach these sort of weights in your vans. And down here as well, we do have storage and underneath the seat, let me just pull that up. Uh, we do have storage in there as well. Uh, pull that tab. Uh, that's a toolbox as well. That can be uh, fitted here by OK Trucks. There you have it, loads of space. And let me just pull this down. Uh, storage in there. And that is your clipboard. So uh, yeah, it's quite nicely done. The Iveco Daily. So yeah, they're uh, 41 years old now, the Iveco Daily. So it's been going for quite a while. And all the usual features you would find as well. We do have our traction control and we can lock all the um, rear door locks in the van. All your controls on the steering wheel and voice activation as well. A couple of more revs there. Yeah, I just thought I'd give you a quick look around. Six speed manual gearbox and all our electric windows, of course. And we do have remote locking on the key and nice grab handle as well for climbing in and out. Uh, there's also those grab handles in the back. And this is our add blue tank and the fuel tank is on the other side for filling it up. So yeah, that is your 70180. It's down as 70, but it is actually 7.2 ton gross. So yeah, just a quick look around the daily. So I really enjoyed my day here today at OK Trucks in Reading, just checking out the Iveco Daily and of course the Iveco Stralis. But I mean, it does seem like a good price to me, just under 40,000 pounds for this 2016 example with 137,000 kilometers, which is just over 85 and a half thousand miles. Quite good value. And as they already said, they do have a 2017 example with 85,000 kilometers for sale for 45,000. Now, of course, those prices are ex-VAT, but uh, yeah. And the Iveco daily van here, this is, <laughs> this is standing at 31,000 pounds ex-VAT for your 7.2 ton daily. And they have more Iveco dailies in the showroom. And they also have a bunch more of them outside here and more Stralises for sale. And let me just show you this as well. They have the Iveco Stralis NP 460 gas powered truck. So um, some of you will know that Iveco had done a really long run from London to Madrid in a gas truck and they clocked up over 1,000 miles. But this particular example would give you a range of around 500 miles or just over. But uh, yeah, quite nice to see the gas powered Iveco Stralis. But they're all available here at OK Trucks in Reading. And we also have the Euro Cargo here. So it's funny that we have the daily 7.2 ton gross and this Euro Cargo is 7.5 ton. So there's not much in the difference between the daily and the Euro Cargo in terms of gross weight, what you can carry. Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And I'll chat to you all again next weekend for another video. Until then, take care guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers! This is the Iveco Retail Center. Huh? Site. I'm at the Iveco Retail Site. <laughs> First, finished here in Ferrari Red. It's Ferrari Red today, boys.